Hello lovelies. Last year in our A-level biology predictions we got one of the essay titles correct and we even went over it in our live session the night before the exam. Overall last year we got only 65% topics across the three papers which gives us a B grade for our predictions which is pretty good. And just like last year, this year we've done walkthroughs for all of our predicted papers. Now, the person that writes the papers and does the walkthroughs is an examiner. And in her walkthrough, she shows you exactly what she wants to see when she's marking your papers for real. So you can interpret what the questions mean and how you can show up to the examiner how much you actually know. You know some of those suggest questions in the exam can be really tricky to get full marks on. And even when you write a perfectly correctly scientific answer, sometimes you're not writing exactly what the exams are looking for. We know this is a big problem for students. So we spend loads of time focusing on this skill when we do the walkthroughs. Now, you can get all the papers that we've written for this year, all of the walkthroughs, our half term revision sessions, the night before sessions in our boot camps and in our masterclasses. Along with all the videos in order, the maths questions and flashcards. Now we know paper three is a synoptic paper, so anything we predict in this video covers paper one and the paper one topics might come up with paper three. So we strongly suggest doing both the predicted papers and watching both the walkthroughs, paper one and paper three, before the paper one exam. Because while we can predict the topics, working out exactly which paper it's going to go on is much harder. So while this is a list for you to look over over the half term, please remember to revise everything because we haven't seen the actual paper. So, things we would like you to look at. Digestion, co-transport, transport across the membranes, including the required practical number four in this. We'd like you to look at investigating biodiversity, structure and function of blood vessels, cardiovascular disease, and gas exchange in everything, but especially in fish, adaptations, the types of natural selection and evolution, uh, lipid structure, I would like you to look at meiosis, immunity, including antibiotics and enzyme inhibition. So, quite a long list there, but please remember to write absolutely everything and remember any of these things come up on paper one or come up on paper three. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like explain scratches. <laughs>